Hey everybody, Mallory from Zeppelin here. Zeppelin recently updated their Storybook integration and introduced highlighted components, which allows you at screen level to identify reusable components and whether they've been connected to a code base or not. Now with 12 supported languages, Storybook is a really popular open source UI development tool for teams including Microsoft, GitHub, Airbnb and Mozilla, which they use to support their UI components and their design systems. Storybook allows developers to build components in isolation, so they're not affected by bad data, business logic or unfinished APIs. These can be tested and reviewed in Storybook and it also boasts some excellent collaboration features as well as an array of valuable add-ons with some of your favourite services. And now you can quickly integrate with Zeppelin, connecting your designs with your code base and your live style guide. So today I'm going to give you a quick setup demo and show you what the storybook integration looks like in Zeppelin. Before I get started, for this demo I'll be working on Mac and using the Zeppelin local application. Using the local application allows you to skip a few steps which are listed in the Zeppelin storybook setup guide. Also, I've already installed Node.js locally and I've installed Storybook into my code base. Documentation for both these steps can be found online and is really easy to follow. I'll leave the links in the description below. So let's jump in. So starting in Zeppelin, I've imported my finalized component designs from my Figma library into a global style guide and I've used the inspect tools to build out this component and its variants in my React code base. Here's that code base in Visual Studio. You can see my storybook add-on installed which contains two configuration files. Further down, my source folder contains the folders and files for all my components as well as my styles icons and an introduction. Some of these have corresponding stories.tsx files, we'll come back to them later. So with storybook installed, I'm going to open my terminal and navigate to the root directory. And then I'm going to run the npm install. This shouldn't take very long. Once the installation is complete, we've actually met the minimum requirement for running Storybook. So in the terminal, let's run Storybook. Once the configuration is complete, this should produce a browser window and there is all of our component directories. If you're not super familiar with Storybook, here you can begin to glimpse how useful it can be, showing off your color options, as well as down here sort of true to false states as well. Now let's make it so our Zeppelin component points to the storybook destination. So if we navigate back to Zeppelin now and select one of our components, we have the option down here to connect to storybook. So let's go ahead and hit that and we'll be prompted to enter in our URL. Now it doesn't have to be the URL for that particular component, uh, it can be any URL from the local host. So I'm going to pop this one in here. And if we've done everything correctly, once I hit link stories, we're going to be navigated to the storybook integration inside of Zeppelin. And on the left, we can see our repository here. And you'll see as I click down, it's actually suggesting connections to make. So I'm going to approve these four since they match. So it can actually figure out which variants I've got. And that goes the same for when I go for these more complex features. Uh, you can hit edit to move around and sort of search for different components inside the system. So let's confirm these four. And I'm going to go through and sort these out now. OK, I've been through and connected all the components that align with my storybook repo. Now when I go back to my global style guide, you can see that my comp component is connected and directed to the storybook instance. It's also given me the option to navigate to the local code base. And on some components, it's even bringing through code and it's triggered Zeppelin's VS Code integration. So I can go straight to the file, or I can go straight to the Storybook instance. But what if you want to navigate from Storybook the story to the Zeppelin, Zeppelin guide on GitHub goes into more detail about adding in the Zeppelin Storybook integration, as well as providing a demo file. It also has additional actions for security, setting up via the web app, and links off to our support articles. We're going to follow some of these steps now. For step one, I'm going to install the integration using this yarn command. 
If this isn't working, make sure you have Yarn Package Manager installed on your machine. Over to step two, I need to register the storybook to Zeppelin add-on in the main.js configuration file here. And for step three, I need to navigate to the story file I want to connect storybook to Zeppelin in. Here we're going to add a new parameter, Zeppelin link, for the primary button type. The URL we need to point to here is the full URL presented when we've selected the component, not the short link or app link generated on the right. Once that's been inputted, I'm going to save and rerun Storybook. Now, when I navigate to my button component, I'm presented with the Zeppelin add-on tab. Inside, I'm prompted to add an access token. We can generate one of these from our user profile in the developer window. The GitHub mentions some of the additional steps if you have any security configurations, and if you need any further help with authorization, contact Zeppelin directly. Entering that token in here and save, and voila. I'm now directed towards the Zeppelin component from Storybook, so we can navigate back and forth. I'm also able to do a little comparison here, bringing in that overlay feature from the desktop app as well as seeing when the component was last updated. So that was a setup demo of the Storybook to Zeppelin integration, and it can show you how you can connect your designs uh, to your live style guide, to your actual code editor as well. So I'll make sure that all the resources I've talked about today are in the video description, but if you would like some help with Zeppelin's integrations, uh, Zeppelin is a really extensive support network, which can actually be accessed directly from the help tab in Zeppelin. If you have any more questions about what Zeppelin can do and what other integrations you could benefit from, reach out to your Zeppelin representative. Otherwise, contact us and request a technical empowerment session via the Zamp portal or message me directly at mallory at zeppelin.io.